Good morning, folks. Welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. Uh, I made a decision today that uh, um, it's now the following weekend. It's Friday. I took Friday off. I'm going to work on this trailer, uh, the boat conversion trailer. I have, this is part two, I have decided to put a beaver tail on here. This is not going to be an instructional video how to properly put a beaver tail on a trailer, nothing like that. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing to make this trailer more useful for me. This way my ramps could be, instead of being five foot long, my ramps can be shorter, possibly stow them a little easier, a little easier easier to handle, lighter, and I can load my, my uh, zero turn on it. Be easier to load just about anything I'm trying to wheel up a ramp on it because the ramps will be shorter and easier to manage and maneuver and all that fun stuff. So, um, as you can see here, I went back out to the bone pile, grabbed me some more scrap steel, and uh, we're gonna fabricate some a little extra length onto the trailer here. I'll see if you see, me, see if you can see where I'm pointing here. So we'll fabricate some more steel on the here, come down at an angle, come back about another foot, foot and a half with a beaver tail. And uh, then I'll fabricate some more boards across it. I left these a little long, that, so once I get this on here, I can actually shorten this up to the length I want to match up to the beaver tail, because I got some two by sixes, I'll probably run crossways versus lengthways to finish up that job. Let's get started. All right, folks, I got the beaver tail welded on here. Solid as a rock, ain't going anywhere. Got this piece of angle iron welded on here. What I'm gonna do with that is my ramp will have a hook on it that will go in here and hook right here and go to the ground, and so it can't fall off. So I welded that in place. This part here, from here to here, will be covered in wood. I will short these, I'll shorten these planks up here to the back of the trailer. So it'll be wood, wood, hook, and a ramp. So now I'm ready to actually mark some of these boards here and the ones I talked about earlier in my other video up at the front, way up here, uh, and get those cut off at the right angle. But before I take these boards off, I wanna actually fit my boards that are gonna go from here to here. I'm going, to be able to, I'm going to have to rip cut some boards and cut some notches in them because I'm going to fill that gap in so it looks nice. And once I get that fitted, then all the boards come off, the paint begins. All right, we're not quite done yet, but I got a little more welding to do on some pieces underneath here. But I got to get the boards off first. The uh, first thing I want to do, though, is I want to wheel this thing out a little bit, get my table saw out so I can get my boards fitted in there. Once I get those boards fitted, I'm ready to pull the boards off, finish doing a little welding, and wire wheel, then paint. Let's get going. There you go, starting to take shape. 
one down one to go you see where i had to notch it there to clear the bolts the u-bolts are actually holding the spring stuff to the trailer so one more to go got to get that side done this side's ready to rock All right, I'm gonna give you a little brief detail rundown here what I did, get out of the shadow here. What I did is I cut this board here at a 15 degree angle because I got a 15 degree beaver tail here. So these boards here will flush, flush up tight against here. That way if you're rolling anything across this area over here, it'll roll smoothly in the transition. Then on this end of the board here, I notched it in. I could have, I could have actually taking a little bit off each of these boards and expose this but I like the looks of this better I still got my trough exposed here so I can hang my ramps in it it looks clean and neat you guys probably go why didn't you weld it all the way to the end why didn't you make it how you needed to make it well folks when you get water in there you want water to run out so I got plenty of place for water to run out <laughs> with that weld they put on there it's not going anywhere so now we're down to the wire wheeling and the painting and then we'll get to bolting all the boards on. I'm excited. Now what you guys are thinking, hey, you missed a couple spots here and there. Well, guess what? I did that on purpose, and this is why. I've got some old chain links here, some old steel chain links that I've cut the chain apart, and I'm gonna weld them in these spots. And these are gonna be tie down anchor locations for tying, so when I strap something down to the trailer, it stays, on, stays put. So I wanna weld these in place before I get too much paint on there. And I know you guys are thinking, well, why didn't you just do that before you painted it? Well, I was running out of time today and I wanted to get the top layer of paint on the trailer. That was the most critical part to get on because then I'm going to start putting boards back down. And I wanted to have a layer of protection between the boards and the metal. So that's why I went ahead and hurried up and got the painting done. Now I'm going to back it around and back it back up in here and get me some more welding done. And then I'll touch up the last little bit of paint. Good morning, it's the next day. The paint should be good and dry or dry enough that I can put my boards back on. So I'm gonna get after putting the boards back on. It's early, I'm trying to get it done before some weather comes in. Uh, so I'm up here at the crack of dawn here trying to get the uh, get the work done before the weather moves in. Let's get after it. Sorry if the video is gonna be a little dark outside, but I gotta work when I can work.
folks. So what I did here is I took my old ramps. I've had these forever and ever. They were eight foot long. Had uh, metal thingies that used to go up back on the tailgate on a pick-em-up truck. I cut them down so they fit right in here now in my little trough. They don't slide, they don't move, they stay where they stay put. They won't scoot out from under you. So anyway, I might turn these into some two by tens eventually. Now the trailer's ready to be used and abused. Didn't even nick the paint. The paint's hard as glass. Not really. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a little something out of it today or yesterday or the past couple videos. Uh, enjoyed building this. It's been a lot of fun. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. I've got some scrap aluminum I need to haul to the scrap yard. i got some scrap steel I'm going to load up here. Uh, the ramps are going to be handy for using my two-wheeler to get it up on the trailer. And uh, if I ever have trouble with my mower, i got a place to haul my mower and haul it to the repair place. Doubt that will happen because I fix all my own stuff anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Get out there and do something fun. Michael out.